This is In My Kitchen, where we challenge chefs to cook a two-course meal for six guests in an ordinary London kitchen, using only the ingredients that are already there. In this episode, we welcome Chef Rani. Hi Rani, welcome to my kitchen. We're very excited to have you here and looking forward to seeing what you cook for everyone tonight. That's lovely, same here. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Overall, uh, you know, In My Kitchen has got some good ingredients that you can do really lovely things with. For the starters, we will have um, chicken lakmi, which is a dish uh, influenced from the cuisine of Hyderabad in India. Um, I'm really interested to cook with salmon today because salmon is such a versatile fish. You can do so much with it and it's packed with flavor. And uh, also I'm going to use spinach as well. So um, I want to do a dish which is like a fusion. Uh, you can call it a little bit British, bit of Asian flavors it will have. So this is a magic ingredient that I've got today and it's uh, curry leaves. So these are difficult to find. And these are available in two varieties, one are the fresh ones and one are the dried ones. I would recommend not to go for the dried ones because they taste of nothing. So always find the fresh ones because they will add so much of depth to your dishes and uh, they are packed with nutrients as well. So it's a really good, if you can find it, it's a bonus. So I was lucky to find it. I need a mixing bowl. Mixing bowl. Time for me to step in. Okay, probably the best bowl for mixing. Yeah. Would that one do? That's perfect. Except that's not full enough to get it. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Yeah, sure, I'll just get it. Rani starts by making a paste for the filling. She grabs an onion from the fridge and chilies from the chilli plant. Once the filling is done, uh, then we are going to uh, make the, you know, the rest of the thing. So at the moment, I'm just uh, slicing the garlic. Garlic has quite a strong flavour, so we don't want to overpower it. It just needs to be enough to balance the flavors. Oh. <laughs> it just decided to fly off. <laughs> with the runaway garlic clove rounded up, it's time to brown it in a pan with oil. Orient the powder. Just a little bit of sugar goes in it. Hi. Hi! Welcome, come That's on good. in. Good, thank you. Mmm, it smells nice. <laughs> Hello! Come on in, welcome. You? you? How are you? I'm good, how are you? And there goes my mint plant. Rani mixes mint leaves, sugar, salt, and roasted cumin powder into some yogurt as a writer. Just give it a quick stir. Mint is a very overpowering herb, so be careful when you use the mint. Hello. Hello. Have a very theatrical look. <laughs> Welcome. She mixes flour, salt, two tablespoons of yogurt, four teaspoons of butter, and then throws in some chili for color. She adds just a little bit of water. The dough should be a steep dough, otherwise you will find it difficult to roll the, to get the correct texture as well. So just for a couple of minutes, just, just knead it nicely. Rani finds a clean surface and rolls the dough into balls, flattens it, gives it a trim, adds the filling, and then wraps it. She even makes it look pretty. So I'll just grab a fork. Just like that. Okay. That will give a nice uh, texture to your lakme. Right. So that one is ready now. That's a nice starter for one person, isn't it? Yeah, they are cooking beautifully, so this is sort of colour we want. Now it's cooked, drained, and ready to go. Here we are, that's our starter for tonight. Oh, wow. That's our chicken lakmi. It originates from the Hyderabad region of India, and uh, it is actually made with pastry, uh, which is homemade, of course, uh, with plain flour, and then it is made with chicken lakmi. Uh, we will have a little bit of chili flakes. 
With the guests busy eating, Rani starts the mains, chopping and frying potatoes. She adds paprika, honey, salt and a sprinkle of water. She marinates the salmon in a mix of herbs and for the unlabeled ones she has to guess. Okay, it's, it's so mark, okay? So that's a Mediterranean uh, spice, so just a dash of that as well. We are not going to add any more water in it. We are just going to cook until the spinach is wilted. Then she starts to add more, starting with butter, garlic, ginger, salt, garam masala, and rosemary. The thing is that, I mean, it's a, even you can use other spices as well, but you need to know, you need to have used that spice before, because if you haven't, then uh, the dish, will, the dish won't come out as you expect, you know? The guests wanted to see what was going on. Right, and we will come to join you and see what you're doing. Yeah. Of course, yeah, please feel free. Oh, thank you so much. I've just made actually the saga loop, so it's just that. The salmon is marinated as well. And uh, I've used ginger garlic, some of the spices like turmeric powder, paprika powder. Again, ginger garlic paste with Indian cuisine, you can't go any far without it. You need to have that. And uh, some yogurt as well. So that's optional, but if you want to add, then just use a nice, nice gravy to the dish. With her guests back in the lounge, Rani starts frying the salmon. Simmer because you need the salmon to cook, uh, you know, all the way to the center of the salmon. Now it's time for Rani's magic ingredient, her curry leaves. I wish you, you guys were here because the aroma is just super. I really love this. She mixes water and tomato puree and adds ginger and garlic, curry leaves, oil, and then paprika, sugar, salt, coriander, cumin, and stirs it all together. She adds in coconut milk, cherry tomatoes, chili flakes, and more basil. It's time to dish up and feed those hungry guests. I was expecting the potato to be the mild dish and the sauce to be oh, the spicy. Right? Oh, it's mm. like the potato. Yeah, and after you the potato. There is, I quite yeah. like this nice one, yeah. Mm. 